Uh, Merlin196357 wrote a piece over at Daily Kos that about Joe Manchin that caused me to go, whoa! I mean, you know, which, and it's not often <laughs> that anybody says anything about Joe Manchin that causes me to go, really? And uh, basically what he's saying is that, uh, you know, we have been uh, reluctant to push uh, speaker or not speaker, uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer or President Joe Biden to really, really lean on Joe Manchin for fear that he'll just hop over to the Democratic Party or to the Republican Party. But uh, Merlin points out Manchin would never survive a Republican primary because he voted twice to impeach Trump. I mean, that's death in a Republican primary. So where, you know, should, should we continue to do, you know, to be very worried about this? You know, I think this is a pretty good point. I, I, uh, maybe, I mean, reality check this with me. If, if, if you think I'm missing something or Merlin is missing something, uh, you know, share it with us. But um, I'm I'm thinking, hmm, interesting. And, 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 and also, I mean, you know, there's just enormous pressure being put on Joe Manchin. Um, and I understand that Reverend Barber is on his way up to uh, West Virginia. And uh, I know Sean is working on getting him on the program right now uh, to find out what's going on as a way of uh, kind of leaning on Manchin. I mean, here you've got the third whitest state in America, a small, very small state. And it's two senators, Shelley Moore Capito was negotiating, it really wasn't a negotiation, was uh, forcing the Democrats to lose another month of Senate time, which is precious. Uh, in so-called negotiations. She's the Republican senator from West Virginia. And then, you know, Joe Manchin, of course, we've been talking about like crazy. Yeah.